it's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Lady Iglesias and I am a primary school teacher and I will present to you the didactic unit that I have created and can be used for the next term. As I cannot be in person, I have created a poster that you can see now uh, in the screen that resumes most of the content that I will be showing. Like that, you can easily follow what I'm saying. So first of all, what is going to be the unit about? The unit will be about myths and legends of the United Kingdom. It is mostly directed to students that have a previous knowledge uh, of English and this unit will help them to improve in a dynamic and fun way the four skills, writing, speaking, listening and reading. Also, they will learn new vocabulary related to the topic, of course, and they will work on their social skills as collaboration is required to do most of their exercises. So the unit will be divided into four different phases. The first one is the initial phase where they will start getting in touch with the new topic uh, and they will do some readings regarding the myths and legends uh, they will be working on. The second one is the development stage. So in this stage, the grammar point will be introduced. Uh, in this case, uh, it will be the past continuous and they will work in activities to learn how to use this grammar point. The third phase is the application phase, where they will uh, start applying uh, what they have previously learned with activities based on um, speaking, grammar, comprehension, uh, writing, etc. And the final and fourth phase is going to consist of working on the final project that uh, in this case they will be doing a play. So here they will show if they are aware of everything we have worked through this unit. And after this play, they will do a self-evaluation and also the teacher will give them uh, some feedback to know which were uh, their strengths and weaknesses. Now, which is the aim of this unit? So the aim of this unit is that the students learn the principal myths and legends that exist in the UK and the most important vocabulary related to the topic. Apart from this main objective, there are some specific ones. You can see in the poster the list, but I'm going to tell you. So basically students have to uh, be able to retell a mythical story or legend learn uh, some vocabulary from the myths and legends, they have to be able to point out the past continuous form in a sentence and to be able to change a present simple to a, uh, a past tense. Uh, also, they have to be able to play a role in the final project, they have to be able to improve pronunciation during the didactic unit and uh, then they have to be able to identify a uh, part of a story, uh, be able to ask questions using the past tense, um, and I think that's most of it. So to finish, I want to give you a quick view of some of the activities that the students uh, will be carrying out uh, through this unit. So uh, here in the poster that I'm showing you, uh, you can see three d different types of activities. Um, these are some examples uh, that you can find on the student's book. So one exercise is about the vocabulary. There uh, you can see that they have some images and they will have to write down the words corresponding uh, to them. Another one shows a writing activity where they will have to read the test and fill in the gap uh, with what they think is uh, most appropriate for the storyline. And the last one shows a game, uh, concretely the Tara the game, uh, where they will learn about the characters and um, they will start using the grammar point of this unit. So uh, <laughs> that's all. I hope that uh, this unit has caught your attention. Thank you so much for listening to me. And now I will respond any questions that you may have. Thank you.